station coming to pit road and the lights go on and do you think nascar should is there anything nascar can do to kind of change the rule so that the driver doesn't get bit by it i never even watched it because <laughs> it was done it was done i mean i was three two one lights on from that point you know i just go down pit road and, and do what you're told and, and go from there and it is what it is so i never even I never even looked at it. And beyond the additional safety reasons, would, there, would it help if, the, if you had a light on the dash that came on when the caution light comes out? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's just, I mean, the chances of being in that scenario, I mean, that's the first time I've ever been in that scenario my whole career. So I've done this a, a long time, and I think that the, the odds of it happening in that particular time with you know, racing for the lead and being a couple, one or two car lengths from the line and having it affect your whole race, um, finish and everything that, that happened are probably slim to none. So, you know, I think that protecting yourself or changing rules or something along those lines, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what you would, what you would do, right? I, I think if you, if you back the line up and put it in a different spot, it might be the same scenario over again. I don't, I'm not really sure. I think there's a number of ways you could, you could look at that. So it's just a, it's just an untimely situation, unfortunately. Happened to be us. Uh, Steven Stump, Frontrush.com. Kevin, you mentioned about your final season, you know, kind of having a plan, executing it. If, um, if, a, if a win wasn't in the cards for the final nine races, would you be at peace with that? Or is that something that would sting well after Phoenix? I think for those that have been here every week, now I'm pretty at peace with everything. All right. And then last one ahead regarding Kansas. Uh, this last true 1.5 mile track was all the way back at Charlotte in May. Does that make this race more difficult to prep for in comparison to years past when there were tons of more 1.5 mile tracks on the schedule? I don't think so. We've already, we've already raced here this year, so we have a pretty good idea of, of what we're looking for. All right. Thank you. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.